Okay. So we're going to just have one sequence because obviously it's a very short little project. So we're going to start with an intro. So if you bring the... Do the you need to bring the whole clip down unedited or do an in and out there and bring the in and Okay, out. so there's two ways of working. So some people prefer to actually work on the clip up there in the video piece. So they they would select the section they want before they take it down. Or some people take it straight down and would cut it when it's on the, on the timeline. So whichever way you prefer to work. So to, to take the whole clip down straight away. I would work like that as well, personally. But I know, I know some people don't. They mark in and out, don't they? Do you mark in and out? Yeah. OK, so basically we have got the whole clip now. So this is called scrubbing, as you probably know. So you just, you know, going through the clip. So in effect, we want to find a nice start point. So you found that now? Nice and relaxed. Hello, my name's Matt Hubbard. OK, so we want to pick it up from the hello. So we go back. We use the cut tool. And we cut at that point and get rid of all that rubbish before. Okay, so now. Hello, my name is Matt Hubbard. Um, I'm a founding director of Reels in Motion, and we are a video production company that's based in Stoke on Trent. Cut. Okay. Okay, so the tools, realistically, there's probably only about. Well, they used, is, is you've got the pen tool in Premiere. Yeah. yeah, so you've got the blades, which cut. You've got the arrow, which basically selects footage. So they're, they're found along here. And I know it's a bad image, but they, in effect, they look like the tool that you want. So there's a little blade, little arrow, some of these other, the pen. So they do the mic, so magnifier, so you can make the footage bigger. So they do, you'll recognize them, but there's also kind of shortcuts on the, on the keyboard, which, you know, really good editors kind of just, well, you actually is like editing tools and all sorts of stuff you can get. But in effect, there are shortcuts on the, on the laptop. Okay, so we mark that first bit in and out. So we've got that. Okay, okay so we're now gonna go for question one. So, taking it down to the timeline like we did before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, Jade. Jo so, we won't want that one because we already know that that's the bad one. So, realistically, that probably wouldn't have been marked as, a, as not the best one anyway. So, our experiences with Jade have been really, really positive. Okay. So, we want it from that beginning. So, what Tom did there is he zoomed in really quickly. So, he's just hitting the function, but in effect he's using this zoom key to make the clip bigger so we can see, because you can even see from the, uh, um, the sound waves when it actually starts. See how it's peaked? So it's kind of no real sound there. So if you watch, just make it big again, Tom, can you please? Okay, so pr play. Our experiences with Jade have been really, really... See how it kicked in there, so you can actually see where it's going to actually start. Our experience our experiences with Jade have been really, really positive. She joined the company back end last year and since then has helped with a new website, some email marketing, and generally really, really does uh, contribute to the company massively and does all of her social media. She's really, really good. Cut. Okay, so really, really good. So there's that bit. So we now want to join those two bits together. So just using the arrow key, select it, and just bump it up to the other piece. Okay. Want to talk about snapping? Can do. So, so snapping is when two clips pull themselves together. Okay. So, snapping is a really good tool to make sure there's no gaps. But sometimes you might not want. So you might want to have the sound. So just take it away again, Tom. Take it apart a bit. Okay. So just. Highlight the sound, can you? Or lock, sorry, lock the visuals. So what you can do is you can also lock 
sections of the timeline, so you can't cut them, you can't move them, you can't delete them. So you might want the sound to start, but there's a different image over the top. So you've seen that before. So if, for example, there was footage of me and Jade kind of having a meeting or laughing and obviously talking, you wouldn't want that sound. So you'd want the sound of the interview, but you probably wouldn't want, you'd want the image of me and Jade. So you could move back the image and then replace it with me Our and Jade. Our experiences with Jade have been really, got really no positive. Image, but got the she sound. joined the company back end last year. And okay. since then, Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah? So you've got the sound of the interview, but you would have the image and the visuals of, of something else, like a cutaway. Okay? So that's when snapping, you don't want snapping on, so you can have more control over the clips. But for now, you want them to snap together like that. Okay. So let's have a look how that edit looks. Hello, my name's Matt Hubbard. Um, I'm a founding director of Reels in Motion, and we are a video production company that's based in Stoke-on-Trent. Our experiences with Jade have been that's really, really nice, positive. Quite smooth. She yeah. joined the company back How in the feel that would have Just pause it there. How would you feel that would have looked if we'd stayed on the same depth as the, the first question? We looked a bit odd. It just looked like a bad cut. Yeah, if you got the other one, yeah, just... So just put it in. Yeah, so get the get the same get the same depth. Social yeah, so media, she's really, really good. Social media, she's really, really good. So so because it's not a big change, it's not as nice to edit, is it? As when it changes from quite a deep shot to a to a close up. So just just show us the first one. Based in Stoke on Trent. Right, just hold it. Our experiences so with Jade have been... So we didn't, the screen died, mate. Yeah, so just play that Trent. Our experiences with Jade have been really, right, so really... so that's quite nice and smooth. Just show us the other one. Really, really good. I would thoroughly recommend... Really, really good. I would thoroughly recommend... Actually, it doesn't look that bad now. <laughs> <laughs> just show us one, one, two takes on the same depth. Have you got that? Do everyone remember the re So see that. So if I obviously everyone remember the re obviously it wasn't talk it wasn't like set up. But if that was the cut Do everyone remember the re If that was the cut, it would look bad, wouldn't it? Because you're not changing the shot at all. Shall we cut? <laughs> The experience yeah. was so if that was the actual edit then, shall we cut? <laughs> compared with the one where you the change experience. the depth, it looks bad, doesn't it? So always try to change the depth through the interview like we would. Okay, so get rid of that. So final question. Final question. Yeah. The recommending. I'd thoroughly recommend the free A's to have businesses who are... Don't forget as well, if you get back into the edit and you think, crumbs, I didn't, I didn't change the depth. Because we're working always on digital and we're going online, we can obviously punch in, so like actually digitally zoom in. Okay, so if you haven't done it in the, if you haven't done it live, it's not the end of the world. So let's have a look at how close these are. It's really, really good. I'd thoroughly recommend the free yeah, editor. So, so because these aren't, that diff different in depth, let's punch in on the, the second interview. So to do that, in effect, you just make, make the image larger, don't you? I want you just to zoom, so it's a nice, uh, yeah. yeah. Double -click. So double click. Yeah, so you're basically scaling it up. She does uh, contribute to the company massively and does all of her social media. She's really, really good. I'd thoroughly recommend the free ASTOG businesses. And then just reshape. Yeah, that's it. Contribute to the company massively and does all of her social media. She's really, really good. 
I'd thoroughly recommend the free agent businesses who are so looking for So even though it didn't look a great cut to begin with because we didn't change the depth that much, it looks a lot better now once we've zoomed in a bit.